How to use Gmail 2018. Use Gmail Contacts List. This video shows how to add email addresses to your Gmail Contacts List, then send emails using the list. The video also shows how to organize contacts into contact groups and then send emails to everyone in the group. This clip shows how to open the playlist for a video, but please note the clip was prepared for a different video. The steps are the same for the video you are watching. This video is in a playlist. You should watch the videos in order from the playlist. To open the playlist, hover over the video window and click the circled eye in the upper right corner. Then click the playlist pop-up. For this tutorial, I've created a new Gmail account and added several fake contacts. They have different names, but use the same email address. To view the contacts, click the symbol up here that's nine black squares, then click Contacts. This shows the contact list for the group My Contacts. You can add another contact to the contacts list by clicking New Contact. Now you can type the name and email address of your contact. I'm using my email address on all the contacts just to keep it simple, but you can use any valid email address. All I typically say for my contacts is the name and the email address. There, you can see all this other information that you can save for a contact. And there are other things you can save also if you look click here. While you're entering a new contact or after you have clicked an existing contact in the contacts list, this window will be open. When this window is open, you can set or change which contact groups you want this contact to be in and you also have some other options. So for instance, it is currently in my contacts if I want to reassign the groups it's that this contact is in, I click this symbol here. I can uncheck my contacts if I want, and I can check whichever groups I want this contact to be in, or I can check Create New to create a new contacts group. Safest thing to do is to check Apply after you do that. Also, after you've checked or unchecked the ones you want, you could create a new contact by typing the name here before you click Apply. This contact is Bill Jones. The reason it shows my picture is I'm using my email address in all of them, and it goes and finds a Google profile picture for that email address or that Gmail address. I'm not sure it would work for a, an email address that was not a Gmail address. But when you're doing it, if you have a Gmail account and a profile and a picture, uh, if anybody puts your uh, email address in their contacts list, your picture will be shown when, you're, when your contact is shown. Once you're finished, all you have to do is leave the screen and it's added. It, it says at the top that it's already been saved. So every time you make a change and get off the line you're changing, it will save it and I'll give you this message at the top. So I have added Bill Jones. Gmail can display contacts two ways, using the old version and using the contacts preview version. You can switch to contacts preview by scrolling to the bottom of the left column then clicking try contacts preview. You can switch back by clicking switch back to the old version. This tutorial uses the old version. In the old version, the contacts list is broken into pages and the number of lines per page is set by clicking settings and setting it right here. I have it set to the maximum value of 250 contacts per page. When there are more contacts in a selected group than will fit in a page as set by that parameter, you can advance pages by clicking this arrow here. It's dark when there are other pages after this one. This shows the name of the first contact on the current page, the name of the last contact on the current page. If there are more pages, you click here, then it'll show the new range and it'll show the new set of contacts. Groups containing each contact are listed to the right of the contact. 
In the preview version, all the contacts are shown in a single scrollable list, no matter how many there are. And if you want to see which groups contain a certain contact, you hover over the contact and click the vertical ellipsis that appears to the right. It lists the contacts groups, but it will check them if the contact you click the ellipsis for is in that group, and it is in neither one of these groups. I'll hover over one that I know is in a group, click the ellipsis for that one, and it shows two groups, group two and my new group, and they're both checked, meaning that contact is in both those groups. So if you displayed either one of these groups, this contact would be shown and any other contacts that are in that group. You can check and uncheck contacts groups on this pop-up to rearrange which groups this contact is in. To add new contacts when using the preview view, you click the red plus circle at the bottom right. Again, this is for the preview version, and the tutorial in general will be written for the old version, which I'll move back to now. And to repeat, the contacts in each group are broken into pages depending on the setting of that page parameter in the settings. And if a contact is in groups, those groups are listed at the right end of the line containing the contact. There is a system provided group called starred. You can add a contact to the starred groups by just clicking this star. There are some additional context groups that the system uses. Most contacted, Gmail will display the contacts that you use more often than, you, in other words, that you send more emails to than the other contacts in your list. And it'll display those when you click this one. This is a new account, so there probably aren't any in there. Other contacts is, is a little more complicated. The contacts that are listed in other contacts, basically some of them are put in there by the Gmail system and they're proprietary on how they do that. And some of the contacts are put in there from a option that you can turn on and off in the settings, the general settings, not the contact settings. There's an option that we'll discuss later when we go through the settings that says, refers to autocomplete, and it says whenever you send an email, it'll automatically put the email address in the other contacts list if it's not already in any other contacts group. And we will discuss that later when we go over the settings. But again, the other contacts in the other contacts section are put in by Gmail, and they really don't publicize how they determine what contacts to put in there. New group will let you create another contacts group just by clicking here. There are other ways to do it. Import contacts, that is a command that says if you have exported a contacts file from another browser or even brought in from another computer, if you have a context file and it'll end with .csv, you can import those contacts into the Gmail contacts by clicking here and selecting the file. When you do that, Gmail creates a new context group that will have the word import in it and it'll have the date that file was imported. That's basically all the standard contacts that Gmail provides. We've shown you how to add contacts to the contacts list and how to organize those contacts in the groups. Now let's show you how those are used to send emails. We'll start to create a new email. Click Compose. We'll start typing and Gmail does not know whether you're typing an email address, the name of a contact, or the name of a contact group. So it'll search all those things for whatever you type. I typed a B, it turns out the only thing that's going to match that is Bill Jones in, in the contacts. So it says, okay, we found old Bill, and you can click that to put his email address into the uh, email that you're composing. Now, if you were typing an email address, same thing, it's going to search everything it's got till it finds a match, and turns out 
It's got to match. It's got a T in, in Google Community Team, but it's also got a T in an email address for Bill. So let's start typing the name of one of our contacts groups. And we'll select Group 2. That's the name of a group that we created. It's got two people in it, Bill Jones, Tom Wallace. So we'll set, set, select that. Now I'm going to re remind you of something that we pointed out in the first video. I'm going to get this email and I'm going to realize that, that that email was also sent to Bill Jones. And Bill Jones is going to get the email and he's going to know that, hey, whoever sent this email, they sent it to old Tom Wallace too. You may not want that. You may not want each recipient of the email to know who all you sent that email to. So the way to prevent it, as we did discuss in the first video, is when you're starting the email, you have a choice of clicking CC or BCC. And if you don't click either one, it uses carbon copy, which means all the recipients of the email will, will see all the names of all the other recipients of the email. But if you start with a BCC, and you can do both, remember. So BCC, click BCC. Everything you type on the BCC line, all the addresses, whether they're groups or whatever, everybody that gets the email sent this way will not see the other recipients of the email. But let's go ahead and on the first line, we'll, we'll make it a CC. If we don't select, it defaults to CC, but Let's go ahead and click CC so there's no ambiguity here. So CC and we'll send it to uh, another email address. Now what happens is Mr. TR5456 at gmail.com will get the email but he won't know that I also sent copies to Bill Jones and Tom Wallace. And likewise Bill Jones gets the email but he only knows that I also sent it to the guy on the CC line. And I get the email and I only know that it was also sent to this guy up here. So just don't forget how the CC and BCC works. That's pretty much the end of the video. We've shown you how to set up the contacts, contacts groups and we've shown you how to use them in the emails. Thanks for watching this Tom's Tech Notes video. If you like this video, please click like. There are 250 videos on the channel. Please click subscribe and select notifications to receive an email when I add videos to the channel. To visit the channel, search for T-O-M-S-T-D-A.